catalyze a change in the way our society buys, sells, produces, manufactures? Well, this question is fundamental to making our civilization more sustainable. And in answering it, we usually turn to economists. And this makes sense, but I'm a science-focused high school student and a highly qualified non-economist. And I find the technological aspect to be extremely interesting. Because as it turns out, humanity's first fully sustainable society won't actually be here on Earth. It'll be on Mars. I developed an interest in space at a young age, and I think one of the most important parts of space exploration boils down to one really convenient thought, self-sustainability. You see, conducting a mission beyond Earth means stretching the lifespan of your resources to an absolute maximum. Space programs are really good at this. In late 2003, for example, NASA's Opportunity rover landed on the Martian surface with a life expectancy of less than 90 days. Nearly 14 years later, 55 times the predicted mission length, Opportunity is still operating. So NASA made an immortal robot? But, but what does this have to do with building sustainability on Earth? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, one of the most important things about space exploration is while we often think that we have to develop new technologies to explore space, it's really the other way around. Our efforts beyond Earth have helped us develop technologies from the adult diaper to the cell phone, and I believe that they will help us become a truly sustainable civilization. In order to understand how this is already happening, we need look no further than the solar panel. Photovoltaic cells were first developed in the mid-1800s, but their first practical use was on satellites in the 1960s. Space programs went on to contribute massively to the development of the solar cell. Fast forward to now. Solar panels, space tech, accounted for 20% of new energy produced in the year 2016. The solar panel is not alone. Space programs have contributed many of the world's sustainable staples, and they will only continue to do so in the future. Take waste management. In order to prevent the contamination of other planets, human waste would be recycled into fertilizer on the extended and permanent missions that are planned in the next couple of decades. This isn't just interplanetary agriculture. With plenty of companies here on Earth providing the same service, we could be seeing the next step in waste management, and one to which space programs could contribute massively in the next couple of years. With the advent of private space enterprises and reusable rockets, we are due for a revolution in space exploration in the coming decades. In the interest of developing technologies to make our world more sustainable, we should support exploration beyond it. But it's important to recognize that space programs spend all this time and money developing advanced composite materials and waste management methods because out in space, there's no rescue, no resupply, no throwing your trash out. Yet increasingly, we are discovering that this is the same for us. We've applied the linear economic model of make, take, and dispose for as long as we've existed. And only now, seeing our irreparable damage, do we appreciate that we will not be rescued either. The most important thing we have to gain from exploring space is not a technology, it is a perspective. It is an understanding that we are all cosmic mariners, marooned here on a ball of rock, cascading through the unknown with no chance at escape. Bummer. In space exploration, great care is taken to avoid the contamination of other planetary systems. When NASA decommissioned the Cassini space probe, they flew it into Saturn to be incinerated because they were worried that were it to collide with one of Saturn's moons, it could spread radiation. Now, if we're so willing to literally burn up 
billions of dollars to protect lifeless objects on the other side of the solar system, surely we can do our own home the same service. Perhaps if we all act a little more like astronauts on Mars, we can build a better future for Earth. Thank you.